Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Black Bear Hunter coming at you again, and we're here to talk about Dulé Tuve. Or, oh, my fault. Let's say this again. Dulé Teve, a.k.a. Mad Bitch. Um, <laughs> this is basically a hazy Belgian triple. Um, this, is, uh, this is brewed by uh, Dedele Brewers. Uh, located in Belgium. Um, I just recently reviewed a different one of their beers, um, which was like a Belgian strong, a Belgian, uh, a pale Belgian strong. Um, and so it was lovely. Um, a lot of, or I could just say all the beers that come out of this brewery are, um, are awesome. Like when it comes to the respective um, style of beer. So if you respect specific styles of beer, it falls right in point and it, they add their own little spin on that beer. Um, and like I said, they've been around for a while. Um, I'm not sure if they're, like I said, I'm not sure if their formulas have been around since before, um, 1980, but they took over a brewery, um, that was refurbished in the eighties and, um, yeah, they built out, um, a, a really consistent, strong performing um, brewery that puts out a really great product. So at the end of the day, this beer um, in particular comes out to like, it's like it weighs in at 10% ABV, which is a uh, pretty normal or well, yeah, actually it's a little bit average, above average for um, a triple. Um, um, 30 IBUs um, and they suggest from their site, they actually say not to cellar it, to drink it fresh, so you can get, uh, like they have the bittering, the, uh, so the hops that's used, they want the beer to be fresh, crisp, and crisp and bitter, right? But when you age it, some of that goes away, um, and it smooths it out, so you decrease the bitterness. Um, and, um, yeah, just keep it in a nice, cold, dark environment and you should get a really nice beer. And so at the end of the day, I've had this beer years ago, um, and it was very nice and I expect it actually to be pretty nice right now. And this one, uh, is a, let's see what vintage is this? This one was made in... I want to say 2000. Looks like it says 2000. Oh, hold on. I can't tell if that's a 13 or a 15. Like, it don't look like 2018. No, we'll just say 2018, right? <laughs> I'll know once I taste it. And so at the end of the day, um, yeah, it's, it's a... It's a multi-brew, white candy, uh, hop, like, well, not hoppy. It's not hoppy, but um, you're going to get those fruity esters, uh, phenols, and, and, and the fruity delivery that you normally get in, like, um, most um, triples. But the color is distinctive. Uh, the smell is distinctive. Like, it's a it's a truly distinctive beer. And so, at the end of the day, I'm fucking excited. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, you, you, there's a lot of information I could spew about this beer all day. That it's top fermented and it's hazy and frothy and. You're going to smell like green apples and bananas and pears and all kind of stuff. Lemongrass. You can go all day, right? Honey, spice, cloves. And like I said, that, this, that type of stuff is consistent when it comes to um, triples, right? Like, you know, like I said, it, well, as I was saying in other videos, when it comes to triples, you get a lot of different, um, well, you... You actually from Belgium, you get a specific format and they stay consistent to staying with that format. 
And so, yeah, you actually know exactly what you're going to get when you get this, with this beer. And you might get some surprises. Um, so at the end of the day, um, yeah, go ahead and break out your cheese. Break out your, your seafood stews, your mussels, whatever case, whatever you want. At the end of the day, break it out because that's what you're going to get with a triple. It's, it's great with beer, great with cheese, great. You're going to want it. You're going to want to do it as soon as you start drinking it. You're going to be like, damn, I should have actually. So you might as well go ahead, break it out, and um, and 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 go ahead and then really enjoy this beer. That's when it really stands out when you have it with food. It stands out alone, but when you have it with food, it's even better. So um, I'm glad there be, I'm glad to actually have the chance to review this beer um, on, on, on YouTube and talk about it. Like I said, I went into my local brewer and boom, there it was. So, um, and it's one of those beers that's kind of hard to find. Like, even the last one I had is kind of hard to find, um, only because, like, every bottle shop is not going to uh, try to get a hold of it. And this bottle shop, they they like to actually push the envelope. So, here it is. Um, and, and so, like, some bottle shops have it, and people just walk by it because they're looking for the regular swill. <laughs> and I'm not going to break down the regular swill but at the end of the day they pass up a really good beer that's not super expensive but actually is worth the chase and here's the here's the beer that's worth the chase and i chase down some beers and this beer is actually worth the chase so at the end of the day um let's go ahead this time i have it sitting here let's go ahead and pop this bad boy and oh yeah and see what this is about. Oh, look at the CO2 in there. Ooh, ooh. So, oh, wow. Lemongrass. Um, so at the end of the day, let's go ahead and pour this bad boy and see what they got. Ooh, look at that. Nice hit. That two fingers is like nice big bubbles, though. Kind of frothy looking. Look at that nice color. You got some floaters in there, right? Like just like the other beer, it had a, a ton of sediment in the beer, but oh my gosh, it was delicious. So <laughs> this one has a total, like it's, it's a ton of sediment, um, pours like a cloudy, like golden orange hue. It almost looked just like the, uh, the strong pale, a little bit brighter though, a little bit brighter. Um, like a shade, like maybe a shade brighter, like, uh, it's not it's like a shade less in, in like the, the complexion, like it's like a little less dark, but decent. Like you have like, uh, it's not sticking to the glass extremely well, but it's, it's definitely got some lace in the lace is there. Like it's nice and frothy and sticking to the glass a little bit. There, yeah, it is. It's sticking to the glass. Um, but it looks, it looks kind of like thick. Like I said, like the last beer I had from them had really nice viscosity and body, not overly thick, not overly thin. It was just right. Right. So <clears throat> and it looks like it's not going to be extremely carbonated, just like the last one. Um, not, it's not fizzy at all. Um, but a nice pour, like I said, you just want to drink it. Look at that. It's pretty, like a pretty beer. Who don't? Now it's get. now it just got dark because whatever sediment was in there, I just poured it into the bottle. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the aromas on this. Oh, oh. Nice and deep and sweet. It's like nectars and like flowers. I feel like I'm walking through like, like a garden. Um, ooh. And so nice and complex because you get like, also you get like apples and like apricots and peaches, a little bit of coriander, clove. You do smell like some spices in there, but it's kind of like, it's, it's real faint. Um, but so you definitely some citrus. Um, let me see. 
you smell like the malts, orange peels, maybe some lemon. Um, but it's definitely floral, right? Um, you definitely got a little floral scents going on there. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's definitely like extremely fruity. Um, I mean, what else could you want? I, I love a nice fruity um, beer because like I said, it goes well with food. It goes well with cheese. It goes well with a lot of stuff that you, you know, like bar food goes well when you home and you having dinner. It's an easy pour. Um, so with that being said, let's go on and, and taste this. I, I mean, you know, I'm going to just, again, like I said, I'm going to take one for the team. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So with that being said, cheers, YouTube. Mmm, 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 the citrus, oh, it's, ex oh, the sweetness, and then the spice on your middle palate, and then the back half, you get the malts, woo, mmm, nice, yeah, it, definitely, um, this is like, the taste is like, borderline sweet and then like it's like sweet apple juice and citrus so like kind of like grapefruit though with oranges and then you get like grapes and apricots a little banana um like i said you get that spice in the middle palate um like coriander and maybe like nutmeg or cinnamon not cinnamon definitely nutmeg uh maybe some allspice not nutmeg maybe allspice um you, you definitely getting those peppery yeasty notes um oh man mm. Mm. And like i said it's like floral mm. like that's developing as it's warming up like you're getting like this floral taste like man mm. like i'm drinking like rose water or something i don't know like it's definitely floral um mm. maybe in kind of herbal too like that lemongrass yeah um, it, but it has like the characteristics of other triples. The only thing I don't notice is there's no like that bubble gum type. This is not like that type that has that bubble gum type taste to it. Um, like I said, it's like fruity, spicy, and, and, and definitely kind of malty. Um, oh my gosh, this is like, this is a, a damn good triple. Um, you got some oak in that. Like, that's where probably that earthy taste is coming from, is like the oak. Um, like I said, with that floral, herbal undertones. And like, it's it's more up front. Like, is it, like, like I said, like the time I've been talking and I just took that second sip, it's like the floral, herbal thing kind of like took over. Uh, and you still got that sweet fruit there. Layers and complexion, I love it. Awesome characteristic of a nice natural beer. And especially once it ages or while it's aging, it develops. And it, whew, wow. Like, I, it's not as bitter as the one that I had before. I could Because the one I had before was really fresh. And I don't, this one is actually pretty aged. And so it has a little hop notes to it like you got you get some notes in there but not is it's barely there and it is delicious though like it's it's there but it's not there and so it's not disturbing the beer like i said they they prefer it fresh and to have it that way i prefer it aged i i totally like this it's not multi 
Um, it looks great. It tastes great. What could, what else would you want? Like, I don't know. You could say how you would change this. I wouldn't change it. Um, I like the sweetness. And like I said, the viscosity, the, um, it, it balances well. Like the way the flavors with the feel makes it a real quality. It's a quality triple. It's, a, it's an awesome triple. Um, so I don't know. Nice carbonation, nice medium body, nice viscosity. Um, I mean, I've had a lot of triples and totally that this one is the top of the heap. So it's definitely something that you would want to try or compare. Um, yeah. Um, like, I love Golden Monkey. I love, like, Pirate. I love Golden Drock. I love West Valerian. I love, there's a lot of beers that are, like, a lot of Belgian style and Belgian beers that I love. And this is, like, it is... It'll crush a lot of American Belgian styles. To me, that's how I feel personally. But like I said, this is this is what beer conversation is about. That's what I'm here for. That's why I'm making these videos so that we can talk about beer. I love talking about beer. And so, um, like I said, mouthfeel wise, it's, it lingers on your palate. Um, it's extremely crisp. Uh, nice carbora uh, carbonation. It's robust. Um, they did a good job of creating a nice, um, complex beer that like puts in work on your palate. Like it like puts on the gloves and straight goes to sparring on your palate. <laughs> so overall, how would I rate it? Um, like I said, a great triple. Even before aging, it's a great triple. It's a totally different triple before aging. And so at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's got it's a little bit more on the sweeter side, um, but it has a ton of other aspects from the yeast, from, you know, like from the aging, from the oak, from like, you know, it, it gives off a lot of different fruitier tones. Um, and a lot of other beers do the same thing, but at the end of the day, Whatever they got going on, and like I said, you know, this whole kind of like unfiltered thing is working for them. Um, this hazy thing is working for them. Um, the approach, the mouthfeel, um, the complexity, it, it, like I said, being layered and, and it develops as it warms up, which I have to take a taste again. Mmm. Citrus herbal, the malt, oh, like it's like it's like that's like totally smooth. And at first, it was beating up the back of my palate, but now, like I said, the sweetness, it's bready. It, now, like now, I'm getting that a little bit more bready instead of being like malty. And so, the smidge of spiciness, solid, solid, solid. Like I said, the fruit lingers a little bit on the dry side, which I love. I love a nice dry beer. Like it's it's nice and wet, and and but then at the back end, it, it has a dry finish. Straight. I mean, I I totally enjoy this beer. Um, I'm glad that I bought it in multiples because now I get to see how it develops. I didn't have a chance before because I had it on tap, and um. Yeah, it was just fresh, but it was amazing. And it was one of those things where it was in one day and say like I came back like two or three days later and it was gone. That bar demolished it. So now, I like I said, I have a chance to um, go ahead and um, taste, um, like let these beers develop. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, you two, you try it out. You tell me what you think. You hit me up. We can talk about it. And um, like I said, you know, 
we can go back and forth about beer. That's that's what we're here to talk about. We love beer. Whether you like it, you don't like it, tell me tell me what you think. Tell me even what you want to drink or what you want to see me drink. I'm going to drink it. You know, um, at the end of the day, like I said, I hunt down beers. I have a wide collection of beer. Um, and like I've been aging beers. So, um, yeah, let's let's talk. Let's talk beer. Give me some suggestions. I'm always looking for suggestions. And um, yeah. Cheers, YouTube. Your boy is going to finish taking one for the team. <laughs> break out this cheese. Break out this sausage. And crush it. So with that being said, YouTube, your boy is out. Talk to you later.